What's up, YouTube? Good morning, good afternoon, good night to wherever you are at in the world right now. I'm feeling good. I hope you guys are feeling good. My baby's back there, so that means I'm off the road. And I got some news for you guys because things happen so fast. I went local, quit my job, and all that in the same week. <laughs> So, like I just mentioned, I quit Schneider. I'm no longer working for them, and that's for various reasons. A lot of obvious reasons, but I'm going to just get into it in a second. Um, I just wanted to go on here and start my intro, and then I'll do like a sit-down video later. I know I was going to do a video talking about pay and all that, so I'll just incorporate that in this video. Um, I'll just add like some screenshots of my um, pay and all that when I was on the road and just let you guys know for anybody that's trying to come to Snyder um, but let me just say this before I start this is not a bashing video this is not a video that is trying to detour anybody from going to Snyder because Snyder is a great company for those who are starting off Snyder is a great company for those who need training Snyder is a great company for um, the people and all those things so don't get me wrong it's a great company for a start company but if you are looking for longevity, if you're looking for a company that's going to pay you well, if you're looking for a company that, you know, is going to take you places, especially as a drive-in driver, um, then, yeah, you might want to look elsewhere. But if you are making good money at Schneider, if you are happy with being at Schneider in those regards, in that aspect, then good for you. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna get into this video a little later, but I just wanna come on here and just make an intro and let you guys know what's going on and all that stuff. So I'll see you guys in a minute. Um, I kinda wanna be in a space where I can sit down and explain like check stubs and um, where I can, um, you know, just explain everything to you guys. But yeah, if you are new to my channel, make sure you guys subscribe to my channel. If you guys are returning, excuse me subscribe if you guys are returning welcome back to my channel i'm so grateful and so appreciative that you guys decided to come back and that you enjoy my content we're at 300 and something subscribers that may be an, that may not be a lot to someone but that's a lot to me because before i started being consistent on youtube i was literally stuck at like 70 subscribers and it's just because i wasn't being consistent but yeah stay tuned we'll talk about um you know possibilities of where i'm going next and all that in my journey so yeah i'll see you guys in a second okay y'all so i'm back i did a whole lot of stuff i went out to eat and all that stuff but that's nor here nor there let's get into um why i quit let's get into the pay and all that stuff okay so First and foremost, the reason why I am no longer with Schneider is mainly because the pay, okay? So when you are starting off in trucking, of course you're not gonna be making top dollar and that's completely understandable. But to think that I'm gonna be making $17 an hour is crazy. So ultimately I made that choice um when i was on the road i was making okay money but it just wasn't you know living up to what i needed it to live up to and so i ended up going local because there was a local position that had popped up and with schneider they they would much rather do in-house um hiring than anything else so what they did was once a position popped up and opened up i hopped on it and it's first come first serve so that's exactly what happened it was first come first serve and yeah i got on that so after um they put my two weeks in to transfer to local my first day going local you guys i was um with a trainer no my first day i did orientation right so the second day i came in I was with a trainer and he was pretty cool he was really nice and he um it was a 12-hour day and he basically in so many words he talked me out of it i'm not even gonna lie he basically was telling me how he still lives um paycheck to paycheck and he's been there for two years so if i'm like if you've been there for two years and you're living paycheck to paycheck 
what is that gonna do? Like, how is that gonna be for me? Anyways, um, what was I saying? Okay, so my trainer, he basically talked me out of it. He was basically telling me how much um, he was getting paid, which was not much. And that kind of threw me over the edge because I'm like, you get, you've been here for two years and you're still living paycheck to paycheck. That was already a red flag for me. So um, the second red flag for me was the fact that I only got one day of training doing rail yards. So when you're in and out of the rail yards, it's so much that comes with it. And um, <laughs> He just wanted to talk. There's so much that comes with going in and out of the rail yards. And for them to only train on one day or train you for one day is crazy. And also on top of that, um, there are so many things that that can occur that will get you banned from the rail yards. And once you're banned from the rail yards, y'all, it's like you basically don't have a job anymore. So. OK, <laughs> anyway, let's continue. Um. So yeah, you need more training when you're in and out of the rail yards because it comes with so many small little eenty teeny details. And if you get like the smallest things wrong or you make the smallest mistakes, they will let you go from the rail yards. Like they will ban you from rail yards. And once you're banned from the rail yards four times, then they will ban you indefinitely. And once you're banned indefinitely, then you aren't got a job. Um, also, the fact that there were electric trucks which is okay, like having electric trucks is fine. But it's like, once you have the electric trucks, um, they track you more. So they track you a lot, lot more. Um, they were just, it was just a lot, like, oh, if you go over the 10, 10 miles per hour speed when you're turning, then we're gonna let you go. If you um, get banned from the rail yards more than four times, then you're not gonna have a job, we let you go. If you do this, we're gonna let you go. If you do that, we're gonna let you go. So it was just so much that was going on and so many things. Uh, that occurred so boom when we got back to the yard after our day there was another guy that was there that um i'm guessing he was there for had been there for a while but he um you know he was chopping it up with my trainer and he was like okay yeah so after um yeah after we got there he was chopping it up with my trainer he was basically telling my trainer that he put in his two weeks notice already and my trainer was like, what, really? He was like, yeah, because they don't pay enough and this, this and this and that. So that was already another red flag. And I'm like, okay. So I go meet up with my manager finally after the day is over. And he's telling me all of the things that I'm telling you guys as far as the pay, as far as the, how, um, basically how strict they are and all that stuff. So I'm like, in my head, I'm like, if, if, this, if this job is going to come with so many different things and so many different risks, um, basically a liability to my life. To where if I if I do anything wrong, then I'm gonna be let go. It's like, what's the point? You know what I'm saying? And then also, y'all not even paying me enough for this strict, 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 all this strict stuff. So yeah, ultimately, I kind of just was like, I deserve more. I deserve better. There's jobs out here that will pay better. Um, that have diesels trucks, cause I'm the electric truck that threw me. But um, yeah. So let's get into what you guys really want to talk about, and that's the pay. Okay, so I'm gonna put my check stub somewhere on the screen, probably somewhere over here. So look out for that. Um, let's get into it. I'm gonna go ahead and break it down for you guys. I wrote it down and all that stuff. So um, in total for, cause pay the pay period is from Sunday to Saturday, it's from Sunday to Saturday. So within that pay period, this is my best check. Let me just, and let me say this because I was, I'm exempt. So let me just throw that in there. I'm exempt, so I'm pretty sure if you're not exempt, way more taxes is gonna be taken out and that stuff. So anyways, so for that complete week, I um, I drove 2,897 miles. So you should be looking at anywhere between 2,500 and 3,000 miles or whatever the case may be. And that was just a good week, y'all. So just imagine a bad week. But anyways, 2,897 miles um, for on-duty hours. So you get paid whenever you're like on duty. Um, like when you're dropping a load, get it unloaded, like that type of stuff. Cause they want you to stay on duty when you're doing, those, doing these things. Um, so on-duty pay is $16 an hour. 
um, for on duty hours, I had 15 on duty hours at $16 an hour. You guys can kind of do the math. Um, so in total, I grossed $1,465. That's how much I grossed in total uh, for that week. And then how much I net was $1,269 and some change. So I grossed $1,465 and I took home $1,269. So and that's just for a good week. And also, like I said, please factor in the fact that I was exempt. I'm exempt. So if you're not exempt, your check probably was going to probably be 900 and something. But yeah, so everything about it kind of just threw me off. And like I said, it's a good company to start with, but it's not a good company just to be if you're trying to make a good living. Because at the end of the day, I could have been working at another job making way more money the purpose of me getting my cdl is to open up opportunities for myself and to make way more money and um there's millions and millions and millions of trucking companies out there that will meet my criteria and fit my criteria meet my needs and i'm not going to settle for a company and it's like everyone that i've spoken to about schneider they told me about the company they told me about the pay and all of that and a lot of people stick around for longer than they should i was talking to one girl said that she stuck around for years and finally realized it wasn't you know what i'm saying so know your worth i'm gonna say that know your worth know what you bring to the table at the end of the day once you got your cdl license you're worth and you have a lot of value and there's a lot of jobs and companies that will accept you at where you at and your experience or whatever the case may be and they will pay you more every company is going to have its downs just like it has its ups but you have to be willing to kind of decipher what is it that you want to deal with and what you don't want to deal with so that's where i'm at y'all i'm gone i'm not with schneider no more i will let you guys know where i'm going next um i'm still kind of looking i have companies that i do want to go to and that i do want to look into but i'm still looking and i'm still searching it's all that stuff so yeah no more schneider y'all um make sure you guys subscribe i'm gonna go ahead and end it here make sure you guys subscribe make sure you guys like this video comment down below anything that you guys want to know i think i'm gonna do another video about how to get your cdl and do it more so in depth of how to get it which what cup but um what uh stuff things that you can go through and all that stuff but yeah so that was about it um make sure you guys like this video make sure you guys comment down below any content you guys want to see and make sure you guys subscribe bye